It's SEC baseball from a breezy Baumwalker Stadium in Northwest Arkansas. Massive weather shift over the last few hours, but the hog pen, of course, it is packed after a great crowd last night. Young and old alike ready to come back out to Baumwalker Stadium for game Today, two. it's Will McIntyre who will make the start for the Hawks. Yeah, McIntyre is not going to be overpowering that fastball. He'll sit in that upper 80s, maybe 90, throws in a cutter. That one hit high in the air to deep right field. Diggs is back, leaping high, and for the second straight game, Jared Dickey is let off with the home run. What a great swing by Jared Dickey, and he is fired up again. I tell you what, what a great way to set the tone for your offense. Just come in and hit a no doubter out to right field. From the get-go, and the payoff pitch. No in the check swing, that's ball four. Drowning will walk. To this guy in the box, I'd be going nowhere. There's a liner to right. Diggs was playing deep, and he's going to take that on a bounce, and then he dropped the ball, and everybody's going to move up an extra base. Troy, that's a liner off the bat. You think it's going to be caught. Put up good numbers. There's a chop at a third. County will field. He's going to fire home. Good throw to Roland. Now there's That'd two guys at third base. Back. He might as well continue. Cali is now going to have to throw the ball to Stovall, who doesn't have anybody to relay it to. Are they going to throw back to first? They will to Slavens. What a mess this has been. Now two guys are at second base, and both will be tagged, but the out will go. Well, what just happened? Little dribbler off the bat will be corralled at first by Slavens, and somehow out of all that, Troy, just one run <laughs> scores. Pitch number 11. How about working that walk for Josenberger? Wow. Season. That ball hit high in the air. Deep right field. How far will it fly? It cleared the scoreboard. 447 feet of Chase Borfin. His 10th home run. And the Razorbacks are back in front. 31 straight games with a long ball. And Borfin squares that one up. He knew it as soon as he hit it. 105 off the bat. Boy, just a monster shot. Less than 65. And yet he's going to shoot one of the gap in right center field, and Josenberger won't get there. Takes that one on a bounce, and Drowning is going to have a double. He just beat the shift by sending one to the warning track. Where are you? Six bombs on the season. That's, so, not a, that's not a bad move right there. To See what McIntyre does, 0-2. Line drive right to short. We're going to have a double play, and I thought for a second maybe a chance for three. That would have been something. Wow, perfect positioning by John Bolton. There's a chopper towards short. Big bounce for Bolton and a flip to Stovall for the force to end the inning. So Tennessee had a leadoff double. They had first and second, nobody out, but do not score. Some juice and some moxie to work there and have success. Bolton will wave and miss. Carry. Strike three call. You know, really unique being able to, to, to do that. I mean, uh, you know, we're, we're Here's a 2-2 pitch, and that is cut and a miss. We'll bring Rick back for another half inning because Will McIntyre, he meant business. He just Boy. cruised through the fourth. He was throwing that. When the game starts. High pop-up. Arkansas was in a deep shift, so that's a long run for Bolton. Gives way to Borfin, and Jace can't get there, and Dryling is going to have two bases. Yeah, that, that's what everybody's got to be. team with all their home runs and their offense. Hit high in the air, down the line and right. Digs over. Near the railing, did he make the catch? He did! It's been a bit of an adventure for Kendall, but Troy, he almost went into the seats to end an inning. Yeah, what a great job. He got over to the padding early, and the wind brought that thing back. Great job by Kendall Diggs. He stole a ball from the fans. It was Caleb Kelly. Flew out to center, strokes one to left. This ball's hit well on a line. Back to the fence. It's out of the glove of Dickey, and it lands on the warning track. Cali hustling to second, and he is safe. That was a bullet at 106 off his bat, but it looked like Dickey was going to make the play. Have they not watched Arkansas before? That's in the center on a base hit. Here comes Cali around third. 
He's going to score, and the Razorbacks take advantage of the air, and they've got a 3-1 lead. Take that punt. How about swinging away? Lock on their helmet. Interesting. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Uh-oh. Lifted to left, hit well, Borfin back, nearing the wall, running out of room, and that thing is gone. Blake Burke hits home run number 13. Volunteers get that run back, and it's a one-run game. He made that look easy. Yeah, he just flicked that one out with the wind and that power. So a couple of solo home runs for Tennessee. That's strike three. McIntyre working with tempo. Stroke to right, hit well, digs back, running out of room. It's off the fence. He played it well on a carom and tosses it back in to keep Tears to a long single. Short lead for Tears. He's going to go. That's a wave and a miss. Here's the throw down. How about a strike him out, throw him out, double play to win the inning. What a great throw by Parker Rowland. Chase Borfin, 3-1 pitch. Well, <laughs> that is number 12. Three and one to Slavens, and that's outside. So Arkansas has had a couple of free base runners. Big pitch in this game. And the 3-2, it's not close. And that would be yeah. my fear. Right, I agree. Nice pitch. Strike three. So Sewell worked himself into and out of a threat. Gage Wood rather than Kevin. Yeah, freshman Gage Wood's got some electric stuff. A fastball is set about 92 to 94 miles an hour. Ball somewhere and just. That's strike three. Booker can't believe it. He thought it was down. Track hitter, this is Scott. Tony V's rolling these things out, isn't he? The pinch hitters. Oh, that's that's a double right How there. About that down the line and left. Borfin will come up with it, and he's going to play it back in with a strong throw to second base to keep. Wow. Scott, Hurt my neck, the way he's shaking off those signs. Here's the pitch. Wave and a miss. Gage Wood with the strikeout, trying to hide that smile, and he keeps the tying run at third base. And you can see what what versatility that he brings, but. That one clipped. I think it got him. Bolton, a free base runner to begin the seventh inning. Pitch to Stovall, got him. Knocked him down like a bowling pin. That get him on the kneecap? Regardless, that and Stovall gets a huge lead and takes off if it's in the big leagues. Throw to third, and it was thrown away. Bolton was locked up, but the throwing error produces the fourth run. Standing, Sewell steps off. Fakes to first. It was going to be a close play over there, but he just didn't get an accurate throw. It's a huge run for Arkansas. You're going to get the strikeout. 3-2 pitch. On the ground. Knocked down by Joss Love. His throw to first. Not in time. Diggs beats it. It's a 5-2 Razorback lead. Just as Kendra went to short and Scott to right and Dryling to left. Off and running as Diggs again. I think that's a hit batter, is it? Yeah, instead of hitting him. Deja vu all over again. Callie pokes one into right, that's a base hit. Digs around third, he's going to try and score. The throw to the plate is not in time. It is a 6-2 razor back advantage. There wasn't a strike in the previous one, it's not going to be now. And then Wood brings it back over the corner, gets the wave and a miss. That's three strikeouts in an inning and a third for Gay. Wave and a miss. Gage Wood has struck out four. There it is. Soft roller to short. Bolton had to gather. Throws on the run. Still got him. Payoff pitch from Wood. This is outside. So it begins with the base runner for Tennessee. In the off, that's okay. Wave and a miss. That strikeout number six in two and two thirds innings for the freshman. Right there by Gage Wood. Rowland thought he had it. And another wild pitch. The third will send Tears to the plate. He moved to second to third and home on three different wild pitches. See the ball. The 2-2 two -two pitch. In the air to left. Borfin is there. He backs up. He's got it. The Razorbacks win the game, and they've taken the series. Gage Wood, three strong innings to finish it off. And Arkansas again. Continues this winning streak here in Fayetteville. Winning streaks against the Volunteers. Winning series. Arkansas really took advantage of some opportunities that they had. And again, not a lot of hits for Arkansas. They played in six runs and another big win against a really good Tennessee ball club.